Alright, here we are. This is the last video, the last bit of Mega Man 7. The final stage, and it is definitely the final stage. Because fortresses now have only four levels, <laughs> for the most part. And, of course, we have the Robot Master rematch. Uh, I've actually played through this once before, but it was kind of a kind of a bad take, so I decided, ah, you know what, I'm going to redo it again. And now that I have a better idea where all the Robot Masters are supposed to be, I can damage them a little bit better. That was an epic dodge maneuver, I think. <laughs> uh, normally I get hit decently, uh, though, well, <laughs> there goes that. And boom. I've heard that you can, like, jiggle the controller, the D-pad, and hit some buttons to knock that gunk off you, but I've yet to be able to do it on my own. Uh, I always need his dumbass to hit me, but, oh well. And as you'll see in this video, I do try to show off a bit. Uh, <laughs> it's for better or for worse, it's, um, uh, a few. Whether or not that's better or worse, yeah. But at least I beat Slashman. Okay, what's next? Where do I go next? I believe over here... Um, yeah, Freeze Man. Took me a second, I was like, wait, wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, Freeze Man. <laughs> oh... And after watching Roll Mithril's video on uh, beating Flash, not Flashman, but Freeze Man, rather, I, I'm looking dead at him and I'm calling him the wrong robot master name. What's wrong with me? You know, I got a bit of his pattern. <laughs> I was just like that. I'm stuck to the ground, but I can still beat him. <laughs> Ow. That wasn't so bad. I usually take a little bit more hits when I'm fighting Freeze Man. Okay, where am I going next? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, but you're gonna go that way. Yeah, I'm going against Cloud Man. See, like as I as I said, this is the second take, so I know a little better where all the Robot Masters are. This is actually, while it's a really good Mega Man game, it's one of the ones I've played the least. And and so like the final stage, I'm a little on as far as where all the Robot Masters are. And I think. I think on this one I, I start trying to show off a little bit, but uh, no, it looks like I just I'm just letting it go. Uh oh, <laughs> almost, almost. Wow, that was al that was almost boring. <laughs> okay, now I go after this guy, Junk Man. Ah, so. So yes, all these robot masters being fought again, blah 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 blah. I, I was debating whether or not I wanted to talk over it, or whether I wanted to just speed up over it, or what have you, but... Oh, well, you see the obvious thing. But... But then, I know there are other Let's Players out there that'll just, like, speed over this with some music, you know, Hello Clement. Um... <laughs> uh, you know, and, and I don't want to necessarily come off with somebody else's gimmick, oh, but then again, you know... Ah, uh, Spring Man. Now, this one, I believe this run I was trying to show off a little bit on. Just, just slightly. Because I know there's a way you can, like, hit Spring Man right as he leaps up to the top center of the screen. Right as he comes out of his, uh, invincibility frames. I think I've pulled it off maybe once or twice in other runs. Off camera. But I don't think i do it on... Ow! This one. And for my info trying to show off, I end up <laughs> fighting Spring Man and a totally different way than what I'm normally fighting him. Normally I stick over to the left. In fact, in my first fight with him, you probably saw me do that. But... Ugh. So, yeah. And, you got, and of course, you slash a lot of springs off of him, and why hasn't that killed him yet? There it goes. Would have been funny if he exploded and, like, springs went everywhere. That would have been hilarious, I think. Yeah, no stress, yes. Yeah. And... Turbo Man! No, I am not doing the Turbo Man clip again. I refuse. How badass is that to just get... Just, like, quickly get one charged up and then, like, shoot it at him before he can fire off his fireballs. Leap! That's gotta be one of the most badass epic maneuvers ever. And no damage. <laughs> That's pretty good. And click, 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 click. Yep, Burst Man. Who, I believe, like Slash Man, he, they both have two weaknesses. Uh, both of them are, are affected by the Scorch Wheel, which I'm using on Burst Man right now. And both are also affected by the Freeze Cracker, which I thought was interesting. But keeping with just going all one big circle, you can, you can use 
the weapon that you're supposed to, or I think you're supposed to. Let me put it that way. But <laughs> it's it's interesting. It's like it's one big circle of weaknesses with two smaller circle of weaknesses, two smaller circles of weaknesses rather. Um, is looped up inside, of it, which I think is kind of unique for a Mega Man game. I don't think I've ever seen any other Mega Man game do that. Um, one might argue two could do that, but two's weaknesses is like. Yeah, 50% of the Robot Masters are weak to the Metal Blade in some way, shape, or form. You know, so it's like... There's a reason why the Metal Blade is considered one of the most overpowered weapons in the series. Oh look, it's Watermelon Mega Man. No, that's Spring Coil. Wild Coil, rather. Why didn't they call it Spring Coil? That's, that's, that's kind of weird. Or Wild Spring. Ah, uh, and Shade Man. I like... I know I've, I don't remember if I did this in this video, I'm sure we'll find out. But I've actually knocked him out of the uh, darkness up with- OW! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. He's a little... You eat me. You know, just like a vampire. Ooh. At least he didn't eat me. Okay. It was a different run where I just knocked him out of the darkness up there. And that's all the Robot Masters. Unlike some people, I actually like to let the uh, energy balancer do its job. <laughs> oh, and Wily Machine 7. Which, Wily Machine 7 is not so bad. I, I, I can get through this rather handily, usually, sometimes without taking a hit. Um, but it's the Wily Saucer after this one that really kind of tweaks my nose and gives my nipples a good twist. It's just painful. But... But, uh, with, with some practice, I did manage, obviously manage to get it. Um, otherwise, well, if I didn't get it, you wouldn't be having this video now, would you? Because <laughs> I don't think many people want to watch Let's Plays to see somebody ultimately always fail at something and just give up. Um, which reminds me, I've got a Lost Levels, Lost Levels playthrough to go through. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. But this this definitely the reason I started the Mega Man 7 one is a I wanted to continue on the Mega Man series because I stopped at six for a while and I was like, you know what? Let's just go with seven and be done with it. Ooh, I love that shot. That's a good thing about the Thunderbolt. <laughs> and boom! Yeah, sometimes the Thunderbolt, as you saw, can hit one of those little walking skulls and like the residue will go up and hit Wily in the face. Speaking of which, yes, slide, slide. This thing. This thing gave me trouble for so many goddamn years. Oh my god. But now that I have a good pattern for it, pattern of it, dodging it, mostly, I, I, I don't get, I don't go through without getting hit, but, uh, but, but I do better. I mean, I don't think I lose, I don't think I lose a life on this one. If I did, I would be really upset. But yeah, I'm dodging a little bit better. I'm, I mean, I remember when I was younger, I was just going all over the place, go all over the place. But um, oh well. Now, of course, this weakness has got to be is one of the most awkward weapons in the game. That would be the wild coil, in wily tradition. <laughs> oh god damn. Oh yay! And here we go again. And I'm frozen. Can't get out. Several times, every time I'm either frozen or burned, I try to get out of it with the with the D-pad waggling and button mashing and everything, but it never works for me. I mean, I've seen it done, and I think I've done it once or twice myself in the past, but for this particular run, it just did not work for me. Oof. Well, better the electricity instead of the heat. Or the, or the ice. Oh! Okay, time for an energy tank. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. I know I use a few. Ow! That was a. That was horrible. Yeah. Come on. Woo! That was close. Alrighty. And then jump. Yeah, it's a bit of a tedious thing once you know the pattern. Although if he goes into a if he goes into a position like that. That makes dodging everything that much harder. Hey, weapon tank. <laughs> I think I used my super tank in this battle somewhere. I'm not quite sure. 
but we'll, we'll find out the answer together. <laughs> Gives you an idea on how soon it takes me to do the audio for some of these, as opposed to just doing it all at once, um, like live, live uh, Let's Play. You know, so, um, but it also gives a sense of surprise. It's like, oh, okay, this is what happened then. Oh, sweet, I did that, really? So, so it, it depends on if you're if you're wanting to get into Let's Plays and, and the like, then it's, ow, wow, yeah, I, yeah, no way am I going to try and do that. <laughs> so far, where's Wily? Oh, he's about half, half his health. Okay. Yeah, jump. Big, tedious battle here, but... And then Wily plays dirty by going up there. Yeah. Now, the Freeze Cracker... I think I finished him off with the Freeze Cracker, but the Freeze Cracker does affect him as well. So it's like if you if you really want to try and finish it faster and want to scroll through your weapons fast and like that, then hitting him with a freeze cracker up top while he's up in the uh, upper part of the screen is a big help. But me, I like the wild coil. Is it me or did the regular wild coil take off one HP? Huh. Oh well. You know, something I didn't t test out on this one. I guess I could test it out on another video or ask around, but is he even vulnerable to the Mega Buster? Because I've been thinking, you know, Roll Mithril, he does the uh, perfect runs, and he's just now going through the Fortress stages. I don't know if he's going to hit Mega Man 7 or Mega Man 8. Okay, there we go. Fuck you, Wily. Getting out of my way like that. <sighs> <laughs> He's gone! Oh, one of the rare times I actually do it in one life. Uh. Okay, I give up! Sorry about all the trouble! I'll go quietly! <laughs> I don't trust you, Wily. I gonna do what I should have done years ago. I gonna do... Re re real, real nice grammar there, Mega Man. Did you did you go uh, ghetto? You forget, Mega Man. Robots cannot harm humans. Yeah, first rule of robotics. I am more than yeah. We know he's more than a robot. I am not reading that super slow. Fuck you guys. <laughs> and then die, Wily. That's really uncharacteristic of Mega Man. Very very uncharacteristic. And I think this is the only time in the series that he actually puts out the sentiment for wanting to outright kill Wily. Granted, it's for the late greater good, I'm sure, but still. Came this close to breaking the first rule of robotics. Oh. Oh, hi, Treble. Wait, you lived? Too late, Mega Man. He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. Yeah, he's gonna return next game, and the games after that, and then eventually you'll be able to play his base, and even use treble. Yay! <laughs> oh, and of course, it's a load-bearing boss. Wily bosses in, in a lot of games, they tend to be load-bearers. Oh, so instead of the actual ending, which I'll admit the graphics for the ending look great, the Mode 7 is great, and you'll see that eventually, I am not a big fan of the music. The music is not bad. It's not badly done. I just have a preference. Plus, with the theme music I've been using for my Let's Plays, at least for this particular series, I think it's only fitting to go out with that particular tune. Uh, but before we hit that, I know, no, I'll probably have some background music here for this particular bit. Um, I did enjoy this, even though it took, like, I don't know how long to actually finish the entire project. Um, but I blame that on scheduling everything else needing to be done over the time. But, from now on, I'll be trying to work on other projects at a better clip, better pace, and a few different things. Um, I know as of this video, I'm working on a 15% Metroid Zero Mission run. I'm also going to do a run of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. <laughs> um, and while this is going, I'm, I'm just going to flash the credits for... Uh, people that have actually done things for this particular series, uh, such as Magdalene O'Reilly, who does the overall artwork. Like, if you looked at the sidebars, that's her work there. Um, of course, I did all of the main episode art artwork, uh, the cards, rather, 
because uh, I manipulate sprites. I love manipulating Mega Man sprites. <laughs> so it, it was kind of fun. I'm going to try and update the look, because that looks nothing like my on-screen look. Like, if you see like my rumors review over on rtgomer.com, yeah, the, the, the look's not the same at all. <laughs> at all, ever. Um... So, hopefully, by the time I do the next Mega Man game, which I think is going to be Mega Man in base, mainly because I don't have anything reliable to be able to record Mega Man 8 with right now. Uh, well, I do, it's just the computer is... it, it sucks for uh, video capturing. <laughs> uh, you know, outside of, like, Hypercam or whatever. So, it, it, I, I need a more powerful computer for it. But, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, the music that I'm going to be using for the credits, I've, I've edited it up a little bit. Um, hope you guys will enjoy that as well as you could the uh, main one. If you want to, if you really, 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 really want to see what the credits look like when you beat the game normally, uh, well, it's all over YouTube. <laughs> so, I, like I said, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit more special with this one, considering the theme song I've been using for the entire series. Um, so with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the ending, and until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.